Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And when somebody sends you a scan or a picture of a scan, I don't really know which one this is, but it worked out. And so you have to do a couple things to it. First of all, our item is about 10 inches. Well, let's worry about that after we bitmap it. And we'll make it smaller because we're going to have to nudge it. So click on your item and go to bitmap and resample it. This one happens to be 300, so it's good. Go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, convert to black and white because that's all we really want. We don't need any grays. We're going to trace bitmap. Your trace might be under bitmap, outline trace, clip art. It's going to ask you to reduce the bitmap and you press yes. And the reason I'm doing this video is because this particular one is a little bit different than I've done before. But it worked out pretty good, so it's done and it's okay. Your new copy should be on top. I'm going to go up, I'm going to make, put the yellow box over there. And I'm still going to grab my item and I'm going to go to arrange and group and ungroup. And I'm going to take the white out of the outline. Now my item is only... 5.9 so I'm going to make my nudge factor I'm going to make it 7 and this is what you have to do if you get rid of the white it's going to leave a black hole so that doesn't work so let's click on the black and nudge it down then I'm going to go left click right click then I'm going to grab all these whites and I'm going to left click right click then I'm going to nudge them down then I'm going to click on the black part of the line again I'm going to nudge it down I'm going to left click right click I'm going to go and do all the black left click right click move it down left click right click move it down go ahead and move it down left click right click We'll take the A, go ahead and move it down, left click, right click. Now there's part of the center of that A that I did not get, or I don't think I did, because the D looks kind of funny. Let's take the outside of the D, let's click on it, left click, right click, and, and move it down. Yeah, we got it all. Now the black... You don't really have to do this to it, but I'm going to left click, right click. Then I'm going to take all the whites and I'm going to left click, no fill, right click, outline, and move it down. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to take the smart fill tool and I'm going to fill in all the black. Now one thing you need to keep in mind when you're doing this is that we want to make sure you left click no fill or no outline so it's just a black line and there you go now i I've, I've already asked the customer this is for his dad and the handwriting is shaky or on a piece of paper or kind of messed up a little bit but that's i'm gonna i gave him two options because really real quick with the smooth tool, you can smooth this out and make it look a little bit better. Go if you have eight and above, you can grab the smooth tool. Let me down, go down a little bit. Got the smooth tool and look right here. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to smooth that out. And just as long as you keep going about the same speed, it'll smooth it out pretty much evenly. And look how much better you have to click on an item. Look how much smoother it is. It's still the gentleman's handwriting, but you've got a ray away from this. You know, if he did it with a magic marker and the basically it's maybe where it bled into the paper, I think, you know, it's still his handwriting. So I think the customer is probably going to go with this one. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.